Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. My name is Siti Gadijah Hanum binti Zevazli and my matrix number is 150785 and my role is presenter and scriptwriter. Assalamualaikum and hi. My name is Nur Fatihah binti Muhammad Zamri. My matrix number is 153184 and I'm an, an editor and planning. Hi, I will introduce to you about a dirty boom. So, what does a dirty boom means? Does a boom is dirty? No, a dirty boom is known as the radiological dispersal device RDD. A dirty boom is a combination of the two things which are a conventional explosion and the radioactive material that came from any places like a hospital equipment. It's not a nuclear boom like a fission boom which produce the blast effects far by using a conventional explosion. A dirty boom's radiation can only be dispersed by a few miles or 100 meters of the explosion. So, has anyone ever used this before? Dirty boom? Hmm. So, the answer is no, but has been passed. A dirty boom was designed to disperse the radioactive material over a certain area. In late 1990s, the calcium was used from the equipment which had been used for to treat the cancer patient. Dirty bomb was used to create the mass panic as a weapon terrorist. So, what are the dangers of the dirty bomb? As we know, a dirty bomb has a radioactive material. So, the main danger of a dirty bomb is come from an explosion, not the radiation. It can cause a serious illness and a property damage. Even a small pieces of the radioactive material can injure to the people nearby. The nearest wave, which are very close to blast site, will be exposed to enough radiation causes immediate serious illness. <coughs> the radioactive dust and smoke can spread further away and dangerous to health if the people breathing in a dust, eat or drink a contaminated food. These people need medical attention. This segment, we're going through the process of constructing the T-bomb and how to obtain its radioactive material. As we mentioned in introduction, the T-bomb is made out of two things which is conventional explosive such as trinitro toluene or we call it TNT and nuclear material such as iridium-90 or cobalt-60. From this, it is a combination from explosive and radiation damage. The T-bomb is different than the atomic bomb. This is because atomic bomb causing a short wave while the T-bomb, its explosion, plays a secondary role for its purpose. Plus, the T-bomb, it is easier to make, therefore, its requirements is easy to fulfill. We proceed to obtain the nuclear material. Now, there are a variety of sources, but only 9 reactors that are potentially produced in the T-bomb, such as Cobalt-60, Iridium-192, Radium-226, Polonium-210, Plutonium-228, and etc. But how did they obtain this nuclear material? It is common to, for them to obtain from natural sources, medical sources, and also industries. The most common one that is used in the T-bomb is Cobalt-60. They grind the Cobalt-60 so that it can turn into dust particles. So that when the dust particles put together with the conversion explosive, it blows with them. And then the wind will carry up the dust particle to a wider area not only contaminated building but also people that will give a long term of sickness. Lastly, we proceed with prevention and detection. Now in this segment, we're going to discuss the factor of dirty bomb and also what to do if the dirty bomb occur. There are several factors to minimize the impact and one of it is to know the amount of radiation used. Now, the bigger the amount of radiation used, the larger the public area is contaminated. Furthermore, the weather factor is one of the contribute to it, as it is a way to spread the radiation material to a larger area. 
Next, that we should know is the type of radiation use, whether is it is alpha, beta, or gamma, because this type of radiation has different level of penetration. And lastly, we should know is the the distance from the radiation to an individual, and it is to know the size of the explosive. So, as the individual is nearer to the explosive, the more injured he is. Next is the precaution that is need to be taken on what to do. First, you should stay away from any obvious view. Secondly, take shelter and close all the windows and the doors. And lastly, remove contaminated clothes and place it in the plastic. Conclusion, the intention of using RDD or radiation dispersal device is to cause physical and physiological attack on public. This is because an excessive exposure to ionizing radiation is harmful and it takes some time to decontaminate the public area. Therefore, not to mention the price of doing that is expensive. Thank you!